investigation. A deteriorating road paves the way to dozens of homes, and homeowners say no one will fix it despite multiple complaints. Count on two investigators, Sophia Arizosa, worked to track down who's responsible and learned everyone's passing the blame. Walleye Road is between Jamestown and Macedonia in the Francis Marion Forest. And as you can see in this drone video, the road is in serious disrepair. We reached out to Berkeley County and the U.S. Forest Service, who both deny any responsibility. It's just steadily getting worse. This is a drive down Walleye Road. It's about the mud puddles. It's just terrible. It hasn't been maintained in years. Well, I think it was about October of 2016. We got like eight or nine inches of rain. It, it just continued to get worse from there. A cause for concern for Hugh Mitchum, one of 25 people using the road daily. It's our only way to get in and out. There's no other way to do it. Mitchum tells me it's not just an inconvenience for homeowners. I mean, we got school buses. We have to consider the emergency vehicles might have to come down here, fire trucks, ambulance. You know, the male ladies complain, um, and they want us to do something, and, and we just don't, don't know what to do. So he called the count on two investigators. I just don't want my vehicles getting tore up. I want to be able to drive in and out my place without, without driving through mud. Both Berkeley County and the U.S. Forest Service repaired the road in the past, so I wanted to find out who's responsible for the work needed now. The county told Mitchum the road belonged to the Forest Service. The Forest Service first told us it belonged to the county. Then the county sent us this map. The road you see here is Walleye Road, and the portion in question is listed as private unknown. Berkeley County officials say they're working with the National Forest Service to come up with an agreement that would allow them to work together on road maintenance and say they're waiting for review from the Forest Service. The Forest Service will not confirm or deny they've received that proposed agreement. It's, it's kind of aggravating. It's very frustrating. Mitchum says while they go back and forth, the problem continues to get worse. I want road repaired. We also reached out to the South Carolina Department of Transportation to find out if they can tell us who's responsible. They say their records show the portion of road defined as local, which means it can be owned by a county, municipality, or private owner. We will continue to follow this story until we get clear answers. Reporting in studio, Sophia Zosa, Count on Two. Sophia, thank you. If you have something you'd like Sophia to look into an investigation, email her at the investigators at WCBD.com. You can also call the investigators at 843 216 49.